Yo, yo, what up, YouTube? The build that I'm going to be running today is Shoes the Magi, Mystical Mail, Stone of Gaia, Stone of Binding, Mantle of Discord, and Polynomicon. The strengths to rushing boots when your opponent doesn't is you have way more power than them. So the first wave, if they try to all in, you should be able to win. But the issue with that is you don't have as much sustain for later waves. I'm going to eat all of my tremors there, and this should be a kill. I don't know why I'm not auto-attacking here. This was one of my warm-up games. I don't think that I had my eyes open. I don't know what the hell I was doing. <laughs> All right, it happens. Sometimes I just go cross-eyed. And I don't really think that was one of those moments. We do get enough pressure to be able to get the totem, and the next wave rolls around. I definitely have to back up here. If I would have ate the archers, I would have just died. So I had to cancel my tremors. I'm just going to back. This is exactly why I get TP. Most of the time I like waiting for Warrior's Blessing before my first TP when I rush boots, but Health Chalice isn't the worst thing. Really, all that I'm trying to do is get early totems, try to help out my team with the gold and mana sustain, and maybe potentially get a kill. This is the most aggro way that you can play solo lane. Uh, TP is just so strong. I think it's super underrated. If enemies don't know how to deal with it, you just get to kill. Uh, that's my point right there. <laughs> I was able to just come back full health, and Ama really didn't respect it. So yeah, the boots rush with teleport is paying off. Also, I'm maxing the two in this matchup, specifically because Ama can cancel my three with hers. So if I max Tremors, it's really not going to be that good. Rat's trying to gank me. That was a garbage gank. <laughs> Go back to base, bud. We'll eat up some of that pressure for free. Totem's still not up, so they really don't get anything for that. No invades were made. There's Ama canceling my three. I still don't have Warrior's Blessing yet, so that's kind of bad. I wish that I would have backed a little bit earlier. Ama's going to miss a wave here if she tries going for the totem, so... And she's still doing it. This is a very bad move. I just ult. This guarantees it. I think I actually could have baited her in to where she lost more minions and ulted a little bit later. So something to work on there. My team is not doing that well. You know, it's manageable, though. It's not like every lane is getting stomped. And this is what you want to do. Just clear the wave, go over to the back, and clear them. Also, placing a ward can be very valuable, just so that way you can see where the enemy jungler is. You can see that rat's over there. He notices that his camps are down, or that his back camps are down. And you saw him go over to the blue. So I can tell I am not about to get double ulted. I'm just sitting back. That's all that I need to do. Letting Merc know, hey, you can do your speed, buddy. I'm going to play safe. And this is just the strength of knowing what's happening. Rat is pissed off. I can just tell, man. <laughs> I am not stepping up. There he is. He waited all that time. And we just get the outplay. Very fortunate individual. If I would have walked over to my wall and then started tremoring, he would have just gotten body blocked and he would have died. But Nuwa does end up picking up the kill. Why is everybody in my lane right now? <laughs> That's dub, baby. I do have TP up. Always try to TP in first before buying your items. It just saves time. Just look at that. I don't miss anything. TP is so underrated, man. I don't know why people hate it so much, but you can make really good rotations with it too. Save towers, uh, save dives even. Very rare in Smite will you be able to stop a dive with teleport, but it can end up happening. Also, you can rotate to golds fast. It's just a good item. People, I have no idea what the hell that Ama was doing. <laughs> but yeah, she used her dash and her blank. 
your job not to die. So she's just dead. Really nothing that she can do. Very potent. Kabraken has a bunch of kill pressure in lane. Especially with Mystical Mail. I have a ton of sustain now with Stone of Gaia online. And we're trying to do Pyro here. I'm not too far ahead. I really didn't invade that much. As much as I should have with the lead. But I figured with how much pressure I was getting in solo lane, I just wasn't about to test it. So I was trying to save farm. Make sure that my lead didn't go away. Also, my team saw Merc back, and they still ended up trying to fight. Chiron's doing something a little bit dumb, though. He's going in melee range of me. Buddy, I will tear you down. Rough shell. I didn't need to do that. Could have shelled Geb uh, with me. Just a panic uh, active there. It's all right, though. I learned from my mistakes. And I did not notice that the enemy team did gold, but they uh, they ended up doing it. Just so you guys know. Morrigan face checks that corner. That is something that you do not want to do up against a Fed Cabracken. He's out the game. I'm just chilling. And now we go in, we see some blanks being used. That was a great ult on her. I'm pretty sure it hit Chiron. Let's go, baby. But really good setup, putting him in the choke there. I should have waited for Q's one before using my stun, but it's fine. There should be no way that he gets out of this. And there he goes. <laughs> Good play by the boys. We do end up getting a D aside, so we're going to try to push down this left tower. I am really tanky right now. So this tower shouldn't be able to hurt me at all. Get the tier 2. Gold did just spawn. And we end up taking their purple. Things are looking really good. This is kind of a risky play. Morrigan's coming over. We need to burn this as fast as possible. We end up securing it. Nice. This isn't looking good. I don't know how Nua got caught out there. There's no reason for her to get caught out. Merc ulted in, by the way. I was not about to fight that. But now he's just split pushing. We're trying to defend mid. They got pyro, but we got two people for it. <laughs> so we will take that. Enemy team making some pretty big mistakes. Mercury split pushing with an Oni wave. We're trying to take mid tower. Kuzumbo's defending. I freaking hit his Kappa with my stun. Good play. I really didn't want to ult that. Merc died when the Phoenix had 1 HP. I decided to make the call to go for right, just because it's safer. Enemy team was coming up, and I don't think everybody dying for a Phoenix was that worth. It could be. I mean, you could make an argument for it, for sure. But we didn't even end up getting the right tower. So. That Ama just got deleted. <laughs> Trying to get up so that way I can shell Iza. She ended up just walking away in mid, man. She kind of killed herself. I don't really take the blame. My shell wasn't the greatest, but her walking away from the team was not good. Yeah, Merc has to back 
I'm out of position here. But luckily I am fed and super tanky. <laughs> we got the health pods ticking too. Merc is back from base. And the enemy does not want to back up for some reason. That was a good Chiron one. Nice, we get twos in here. He had nowhere to go. He already used his dash. And I just end up backing. I did have TP. This guy's saying that he's got to go to the bathroom. I said, hold it. <laughs> I said, not this game. Really close game. I don't know what the enemy team's doing. They're just inting. <laughs> we will take that. End up shoving down right. I have no abilities up, so I was trying to maximize the shell there. Ooh, good old by Merc. Chiron had no beads. Somehow he lives. That is wild to me. I... Mm. Good play. There's only two alive, but Morgan's coming up in six, so... We're taking the safe play by going to the mid Phoenix. We might have been able to end the game. But the safer play is definitely to get all the phoenixes. For some reason, Geb's going right. I don't know what he's doing there. Our mid gets picked again. I'm sensing a pattern here. Okay. Plop a ward just so that way we have vision. We see that Chiron's the only one coming up there. And he's just dead. <laughs> Definitely a bad play by him. Merc's getting caught out. Enemy team decides to surrender. They didn't want to deal with it anymore. Still a really close game in my opinion. I think they could have definitely won that game. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the montage coming up. Let me know what you want to see next, and I'll see you there. Peace.